I don't pick up on your energy and it, uh, outside energy affecting you. So you have the fox and the vulture. So I feel like you are very smart. You're, you're very clever, witty. You're able to see through a lot of things. Like people could be lying to you in your face and you kind of look at them like this. I don't think you respond to lies or a lot of things the same way as other people. <laughs> I um feel like this vulture is here because you have a vultures, vultures, I feel, vultures circling you. I started hearing a song called, uh, I think it's called Vulture by Don Richard. Um, those packs of wolves with suits and deeds. I feel like these are like professional people these vultures or they pretend to be like professional or upright or maybe it is a whole corporation or a whole group of people attached to a corporation okay why is the fox here air energy so hmm. the golden egg so you know you have too much to lose or you know you have a person or people to protect or you have something precious to protect which could be people and or a gift or something sacred or i just heard to whom much is given much is tested okay so you could be feeling like these vultures are constantly testing you or something or constantly trying to get a reaction out of you the golden egg shows you have untapped potential okay you know this these vultures know this too it's a vulture after this golden egg the owl is here so this is a narcissist i feel or a group of them because i feel like narcissists are just dark empaths if you notice they'll do shit like well i know when i dealt with a narcissist before he knows certain shit like he'll know when i'm thinking about him sometimes he'll know certain things that make it clear to me that he is intuitive and an empath but he chooses to use it for evil so that's what you're and then like reptilian energy the lizard the scorpion which they don't always gotta be there but i'm seeing it as all those together vulture owl lizard scorpion okay so is a person trying to find different ways to sting you Okay, they disguise themselves. So this person works through other people. It's given like hive mind group think mentality where a group of people, they're so programmed to in the same way where they don't even have to be around each other to react or respond in the same way to certain things. So if you are not a part of this group think or hive mind, they naturally go against you. So... But I feel like this person knows other people and he like put other people against you he or she whatever um the scorpion so they're like i know the viewer can survive harsh conditions <laughs> but i'm gonna make it too harsh for them to survive because i want something they have whether it's their precious life or their precious child or their precious gift or whatever the fuck like intuitively you already feel like you feel like people are watching you you feel like you're being stalked you feel like you're being hunted you could have been threatened in the past actually and certain things happen to make it clear that the person is following through on threats but in a covert type of way okay it's not like my situation kind of but the way they stalk me is not covert actually um, I got too much shit re recorded and stuff. It's not really covert at all. So you have this day weird. Today's weird is tomorrow's trends. Fuck them, fuck them, fuck them, even if they sell it. Okay, that's just from a song. So I'm me by Lil Wayne might resonate with whoever this is meant for. They are emotionally delayed narcissists. Okay. So, narcissists, they do know how to mimic emotions, but they don't actually feel them. But I feel like this person is emotionally delayed. According to what the cards are saying. So, 
So even if they know something will make them feel a certain type of way, they don't care. If it's a child or children involved, I feel like they know what to do to seem like or look like they give a fuck, but they actually don't based on their real life actions. To attack them or attack you. I mean, because the egg makes me feel like you're protecting something. And they're attacking you and whatever you're protecting. Or always has protected, whatever. Um, so I'm gonna get predictions for this situation, spirit messages, or whoever is dealing with some shit like that. Real quick. Okay, so you have the Three of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Two of Wands, and um, the Three of Swords. So the Three of Pentacles is here, so we're talking about that group again. So you're the center or the focus of a group. Are they studying? It's like they're a group of people studying you or having meetings about you or some shit. Let go of the Nine of Cups and replace it with the Nine of Pentacles. So, why is this Nine of Cups here? Okay, I just got ain't shit sweet in my head. And then the Nine of Cups and the, the King of Pentacles, King of Cups, is saying the same thing. I feel like it's a person or situation you could be sweet on because of. I don't know why Queen of Swords reverse, but they're not, they're actually controlled by this Queen of Swords reverse. So this is a person who hates your stinking guts. And if this person is under them or working with them, they hate your stinking guts too. The Hermit reverse, you got Virgo here. The Seven of Cups, they do drugs together, drink together. Um, they're in this illusion together that um what's the illusion why is the seven of cups here the high priest is that the high priest is has to go <laughs> or that they can play god or something in the situation something that is a lie they're stuck in that illusion together i feel like the lie is about a high priest is a very spiritual person which i feel like is you okay you predict things without cards, with cards, and or you have rare gifts or talents. Going back to that golden egg. So, what is this? This person could be family. They could be family. Y'all have some type of family ties. But why are you telling them to let this energy go? Besides them lying on you, plotting against you. Okay, you know the truth. Oh my gosh. These cards flipped up was flipped over. The Seven of Swords, Five of Wands. So you know the truth that somebody tried to hide about being a part of a group of people who have like an agenda for you. Um, it could be like directly threatening you. Like my ex threatened me with the Freemasons and his family and the gang members and his family who lives around me. It could be something direct like that or something indirect where a person just hints at certain things and it plays out in your life. I don't know why it's telling you to let this energy go. I guess because the ball is going to be put in your court or the tables are turning in your favor. So something is being handled handled for you. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. So I just feel like while these people are stalking you or attacking you, look, I open up to the stalker card. They're also being watched and things are being accounted for and returning to them tenfold. The ace of swords, ten of wands. That's facts. That the burdens they try to put on you is returning to this group tenfold. The two of wands is here in the future. The ball is being put in your court. You're just going to have to make a choice. And what to do with the ball. <laughs> Right here. So I 
divine intervention is happening i feel like you're being pulled out of a situation where you're being circled or something surrounded you're being surrounded by these group of people who are liars who hate your guts who are focused on you who have meetings about you who try to play god in your life or whatever that's why divine intervention is happening because it's too many of them it's too many of them like god sees what's going on same way we see what's going on if we look down at a bunch of ants from a from where we are they see the every angle of what's going on on the other dimensions so what the fuck do people be thinking they're getting away with i don't know but like i said you're getting an opportunity or something is being put in your hands that's going to make you stronger i started hearing that the don't kill me can only make me stronger strengthen the world here a whole new world or something so you're you could be going into a new job moving to a new environment traveling to a new place in the future or having the opportunity to do that so why is the angel message the angel message is the three of swords so i don't know if you have been trying to convince let this person know what they did wrong or something but you need to completely cut ties with whoever this person or group of people are like yeah the tower three of swords the tower and you need to not feel a way about it it's like be grateful that you survived something so long because these people are malicious and they are ruthless that's the word i'm getting ruthless when it comes to wanting to create burdens for you um and i feel like it's behind because the last reading i did it, it turned off when i was talking about somebody being butthurt because you rejected them or something so now it has turned into a full-blown destroyer but in a way that makes it look like i'm not the one trying to destroy her you know two of pentacles and the four of pentacles somebody thinks they're very smart but they're not what do you want to tell me about these people up here anything else the higher pay is a whole fucking group this is the counterpart of the high priestess so i wouldn't be surprised if they're into like earth magic or putting roots on people and shit like even with the freemasons my ex uh threatened me with y'all can google that or put that on youtube um they have a history of being connected to voodoo which don't always have to be bad but and i'm not even saying that group in itself is bad but i do know that it's people who are connected to groups and stuff who abuse their power i just feel like my ex is connected to people who abuse their power and abuse their connections or whatever because of groups affiliations they're connected to be like that freemason energy oh four wands five of cups they thought by doing something to you they were going to level up with a group of people or be respected by these people who are never going to respect them they're never going to respect them or level them up or give them stability or nothing so that's what's coming towards them that's weird. People are weird. And I'm over it. Hold on. Did I already pull from here? If God doesn't control free will, what made them think they could? Like, bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.